Better in a bone. <laughs> Got a video from George Lucas. Have a look at this. Five crazy Star Wars CGI mistakes. They're probably not that crazy. Here's the first CGI mistake. The Millennium Falcon flying through this CGI city in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Well, what's wrong? Epic chase, intensive sequence, but for a couple of frames, the Millennium Falcon's unknown twin brother somehow shows up. That's not a mistake, that is self-reflection. Mistake number two. In Attack of the Clones, there is a factory scene on the planet of Geonosis. As if I didn't know. As if you did know. Now because this scene is almost fully made out of CGI, there are some great opportunities for mistakes coming around the corner. Or, in mean terms, it's something like this. So? So when Anakin tries to make his way through a door, you can literally see his head go through the door. My god, what a great head buff. Mistake number three. Padme's dress in the Phantom Menace. Now of course she had one of the most insane wardrobes you would ever see, and Natalie probably sat in a makeup chair until it was 2357 when she was finally ready for the scene, and still there was one tiny inaccuracy. That was too heavy to wear? No, it's when Padme looks through a window whilst wearing a red dress with glowing bulbs on them. But in order to power these bulbs you need electricity, so in order to do that they plugged in a cord, but they forgot to edit the cord out of the final shot. I mean, you do need electricity to lighten those bulbs. Shut up. So mistake number 4 occurs again on Geonosis during the Battle of Geonosis. Wow, more like the Battle of the Glitches. But what happens during this battle has to do with this Jedi. His name is Ki Adi Mundi. He has an amazing forehead and a blue lightsaber. But during the battle, his lightsaber miraculously turned green. And when the battle ends, his lightsaber turned blue again. Come on, that's not a mistake either. How are you supposed to keep track of all the characters at the same time? Stop disrupting my principles. Now finally, mistake number 5. The lava during the battle of Mustafa on Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Even in what might be the greatest scene of the prequel trilogy, the CGI can't forget it has the high ground. Because during the battle between Anakin and Obi-Wan, there are several shots in which the lava changes directions in between shots, even though it's very hard to see. That's just stupid. What? It's like making a tasty cookie and I lost one hair cell or whatever that landed straight on the cookie. Then you take a bite and you say... That's good. Although, I do taste some kind of hair cell. That's not true. Yep, that's not true at all. You should report this to George. I'm leaving. Adios. Well, he was the chosen one.